Good morning. We are reveling in the co creation at its best moment in time. Co creation at its best. We are extremely pleased that you are here to play with us and to take thought beyond what it has been before. You like that? It's nice to stand in a solid place of understanding, isn't it? And even more exhilarating when from that basis of stability and balance, new insights come, new life comes, new purpose comes, new energy moves. And you understood then that that desire is the summoning point of life, of energy. And with great deliberate intention, you focused yourself here. Once you get here, sometimes it's easy to lose that sense of clarity because the contrast that you knew would serve you overwhelms you. Sometimes the contrast feels too much in any moment in time. And so that's why we enjoy so much coming together like this, because together we can collectively smooth things out, reconnect with who you really are, re-stabilize with the wholeness of who you are, re-identify who you are, help you to remember who you are and why you're here for the purpose of off you go into the reason you came. And the reason you came is because it's way fun to be here. The reason you came is because life is eternal. You can't cease to be. And focusing in an environment like this is just the best of all life. Where contrast inspires you to your personal and important perspective and desire. And then the larger part of you joins you in that decision that you continually make. And coming to your own important decisions and conclusions and desires. So here we are together. You are so much more than you see in these physical clumps sitting on these physical chairs. You are source energy and Sometimes that source energy part of you, from your perspective, takes a back seat. We want it to take a co-equal seat. In other words, we want you to understand the perfect balance between you who come forth and explore and decide and those like us, like your inner beings, who remain non-physically focused and not distracted by the contrast. So when your life helps you to know what you don't want and therefore helps you to know what you do want, long before you are able to articulate the specifics of what you want, you've been launching rockets of desires in the form of preferences that have given your inner beings points of attention to focus upon. And that matters so much because we all live, whether physically focused or non-physically focused, in an environment of vibration. And this environment of vibration is managed by the law of attraction, which simply means that vibrational frequencies that are same join. And that's what causes momentum. That's what causes more. So. An easy way to say that is you get what you think about, whether you want it or not, because your attention to a subject will cause momentum to happen. So what happens at the very beginning of you doing what you came to do, which is identifying what you want at the very beginning of that identification, when life causes you to ask, it is given. It is a vibrational certainty. But because you're not used to seeing yourselves or understanding yourselves as vibrational beings, you don't realize that when you ask with your vibration, it is given vibrationally, but we get it. Your physical beings who translate so magnificently through your physical senses, this reality into being. You see, you hear, you smell, you taste, you touch, 
that's the reality that you have come to rely on and so a vibrational reality that you are in the process of creating step one ask step two is once you've identified that desire your inner being focuses unequivocally with no dilution and no equivocation upon your desire no defensiveness no explaining just purely upon what you want and since the law of attraction is responding to both the physically focused you and the non physically focused you there is a potential in fact it's a sure thing with almost every one of you that there's going to be splits in your energy from time to time really often because of what you're focused upon and the difference between what you're focused upon and what your inner being is focused upon so step one is you ask step two is source focuses toward what you've asked for step three is you want to use your emotional guidance system to help you get better and better and better at agreeing with your inner being about who you really are of looking in the direction of what you are now creating not looking in the direction of what you have created before because what has manifested is old news what is manifesting is what your inner being is focused upon the energy that is flowing now the dynamics of the energy that flow now are all that matters and when you are a deliberate creation you get your eye you get your emotions you get your awareness on your guidance system of what is flowing now what is the direction of who you are becoming but as humans you want the stuff that's in the process to be out in the open where you and everybody else can see it and agree upon it which is what slows you way 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 down because you don't revel in the process you say things but you don't mean it you've coined a phrase as humans the joy is in the journey but you don't mean it what you mean is I'm willing to go through the sucky journey in order to get a manifestation that I really want and when the manifestation that I really want comes then I will be happy but in the meantime I'm just gonna fake it and we say you can't fake it because the law of attraction knows your game the law of attraction is taking you at your vibrational offering